in this problem it is required to find the mass of each of the two cylinders if they cause a seg of 0.5 meters right so this is the seg right when suspended from the rings at a and b note that s is equal to zero when the cylinders are removed right so this is the unstretched position and this is the stretched position right so this means that we are given the forces in both of these springs right and both of these springs are similar spring right so since they have the stiffness of 100 newton per meter right and all the dimensions are also symmetrical about this vertical line if we consider here a vertical line so everything is symmetrical right so now if we find the force in this spring so then we will be able to find the force in this spring since both springs are similar springs right now if we consider if we consider this triangle right so as we can see that this length is 1.5 and this length is 2 meters right so this the hypotenuse of this triangle will give us the unstretched length of the spring right so let's say that l naught is the unstretched length of the spring so using pythagoras theorem we can find this unstretched length right the distance from let's say that this point is is e right so ec is the unstretched length right so we can use Pythagoras theorem. So from Pythagoras theorem, this unstretched length will be L naught square, right? This is L naught. So L naught square equals to two square plus 1.5 square. And if we take the square root, so we will get the unstretched length of the spring, right? So this equals to L naught equals to 2.5 meters, right? And now when the masses are suspended, so then we can consider this triangle, right? So this will be the, we can consider this triangle. And now the stretch length will be this AC, right? So the, when the spring is stretched, right? So let's say that the stretch length is L, right? So we can use this triangle and when the masses are suspended, so then this SIG is 0.5 meters, right? This is given. Right? So this means that the height of this triangle will be 1.5 plus 0.5. So then this will be 2 meters, right? So then the stretch length L, again, we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So the stretch length will be this 2 square plus this 2 square. This length is also 2, right? So this is given 2 square. So the stretch length equals to 2 under root 2 meters, right? So now we can find the force in this spring, right? So we can represent the force, the forces in these springs and these ropes, right? So there, there will be a force in this spring which will be acting in this direction, right? And similarly, there will be a force or tension in this rope which will be acting downward and this tension will be equal to the weight of this mm, cylinder right so we can write that this is w and this is equal to mg and similarly there will be a tension in this cable as well right so let's say that this tension is t a b right so now we can find this force of f s right let's say that this is the spring force so spring force f s is equal to k and the change in length right so change in length will be l minus l naught right so this will be the change in length right so fs and k is given k is 100 right so we will write 100 and l is 2 under the root 2 minus l naught which is 2.5 meters so the spring force equals to 32.84 newtons right so now we know the spring force. Now if you want to find the angle of the spring force with the horizontal line, right? So if you want to find this angle, right? Let's say that this angle is theta, right? This is Fs. This angle is theta. So we can find this angle theta again from the triangle, right? If I join it again, right? So then this length and this length both are 2, right? This is 2 and this is 2, right? So this means that this theta is 45, right? If we apply 10 theta, so tan theta 2 divided by 2 will give us the angle 45 degrees, right? So this means that the spring force is making 45 degree angle with the horizontal, right? So now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at this point A, 
so then we will resolve this spring force into its components right so the spring force will have a uh, one component which will be acting vertically upward right and it will have one component which will be acting like this right so this one is the sine component right so this is f s sine of 45 degrees right so if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so as we can see that if this is our positive x and positive y direction so this is acting in the positive y direction so i will write f s sine of 45 degrees minus this weight and weight is m g equals to 0 or we can say that m g equals to f s and f s is 32.84 sine of 45 degrees and we want to find mass so then we will divide this by g g is 9.81 so the mass of the cylinder is equal to 2.37 kg right 2.37 kg right so 2.37 kg masses of these two cylinders will produce a sag of 0.5 meters in these two springs right so this is the solution of this problem